you haven't met a pistol like me before because I will do everything lawfully, but I will make your life a living hell. And I just want to let, to let you guys know, even with all the chaos out here, you guys have seen us have the food, the food bags, and everything. Believe it or not, everybody has been cleaning up their mess. There was only a little bit of stuff. This right here is most of our stuff from today, but I literally only picked up, like, maybe uh, a half a dozen. Yeah! Um, like a half a dozen little, you know, like um, straw wrappers and, and, and candy wrappers that were out here. Um, so we're, we're working really hard to make sure that we leave literally no litter out here. We're not leaving. We're leaving this place exactly the way we found it. Um, as we always do. So for those that are uh, curious about that as well. Oh, no, that's coming. That's coming. You know, it, like I said, when you're, 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 you're deploying these types of measures um, or pressure tactics, you need to make sure that you're doing it in a, in a right way. We are going to be at the police station. Um, we're going to be at the DA's office. We are going to be at the mayor's office. We are going to be at these places. They are going to hear our voices. Even if I have to stand, I'm a, I'm a one-man show. So I don't really need uh, a whole lot of people to do my work. But the bottom line is, is these 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 people, these, these people that are running this county are mismanaging this county. And now we have the FBI, the GBI. Why? If we have all these resources from the FBI and GBI, which you know FBI has unlimited resources, can you explain to me why Chatham County has to take $250,000 from schools? I'm, I'm curious about that because I think this is a, I think they're utilizing this event right here for a money grab. They're utilizing this event. This is how sick this police chief is. He's utilizing this here. Never let a crisis go to waste, right, police chief? Right. Let's scare the dickens out of the out of the community because you leave a murderer on your street and then you come and try to steal money from the kids. You're not protecting the kids and you're stealing money from the kids. So police chief, like you are, you don't know your ass from your elbow. That's the problem we have here in Chatham County. The police chief doesn't know what he is doing. This is not law and order, police chief. And you want to do it probably, what, for photo ops, saying that you're cracking down on crime, right? Because you've got some protesters off a murderer's front lawn. Congratulations. You're doing your community proud. So proud that you got people from all over the country coming to your town. Pissed. I happen to be one of them. So you might be able to intimidate the people that live around here. I'm not going in there. And I'm going to make sure that they're protected properly. So we're going to be here. We're going to make sure that, you know, and I'm going to start coming out here at night. I'm going to start coming out here at night and seeing what's going on. Let me see your police officers do the crap that they did the other night out here, pushing people, assaulting people, losing their cool. Let me see that. Let me see that, police chief. I double dog dare you. Let me see it. Because you know what? You still haven't came and arrested Bullhorn Betty yet, right? You're arresting people. You're trying to intimidate people out here. That's not that's not a good look for you, police chief. Not a good look for you at all. You know, actually, you in my opinion, you got egg on your face. While you're, you're patting yourself on the back, giving yourself attaboys, and taking the weekend off, and, and having costume parties, and, you know, um, doing all this stuff. A baby is laying in a landfill, and you think this is okay. You think this kind of, uh, of, of policing is okay. This is making me sick to my stomach. Every time I come out here and I hear stories about your police department, it enrages me just a little bit more. And I can guarantee you haven't met a pistol like me before, because I will do everything lawfully, but I will make your life a living hell.